what we're finding is that BIM is enabling us to produce buildings that we would never previously have been able to produce, either because they're more geometrically complex or they're larger. Uh, we're working with teams spread across multiple regions. Um, so as a global practice, we, we collaborate uh, amongst all of our offices worldwide. Um, what we're finding is that BIM just enables everybody to have a better understanding of the thing that we're trying to do. Construction projects are very risky. There are a number of things we can control, but there are a number of things that are outside of our control. And using BIM, we identify the risks on uh, the clashes and the interactions that, uh, that need to be corrected uh, on the computer screen before we hit the site. And that risk mitigation is a very, very valuable tool that we've discovered uh, using the Autodesk products really helps us be more efficient and operationally in the field we can put it in once, we can put it in right. Autodesk Building Design Suite allows us to have uh, one model in which everyone, every different team members, whether it's the interior design team, the lab team, the uh, mechanical engineering engineers or structural engineers, we could all share one model. A building is extremely complex and we have to find ways to coordinate the different issues and um, stresses that are part of the design product process. We really believe that mobile cloud combinations and getting information out to the field are the most important things coming up for, for construction technology. That getting the information out of the hands or the heads or whatever of a few people in the office well, having all that information in the office is fantastic. If it doesn't get to the field, we've lost. I think with traditional energy analysis, um, the analysis generally occurred too late in the process and was too time consuming for us to actually make useful use of the data. Um, we're finding that with new, better integration between the tools, um, we're able to get that feedback in the design process far earlier um, when we're able to have a greater impact on, on the design outcome. With energy analysis, with Revit MEP, that, that, there's a lot of benefits we can take. Uh, we have, we, for one thing, we can have a different approach. We can use the in-the-box in the tools for doing heating and cooling loads, for instance, and that will form 90% of our design. So we can do that quickly. It takes seconds rather than days. We can do that quickly, almost on the fly. We can make design changes with that. And we use that now as the basis of our design, rather than doing a big calculation in, a, in an external software. The, the use of building information modeling at Design Group has really helped us uh, on multiple fronts. It's improved our design process. Uh, it's allowed us to integrate multiple different initiatives within our firm. And that's really gone downstream to helping us portray the value to our clients and, and win new work. I think BIM is, is having a tremendous impact on productivity. Uh, uh, I know from a structural engineering standpoint, uh, I, I like to tell uh, clients that we can do uh, twice as much work with half the people. I know that our, our uh, staff uh, is approximately the same as it was, say, 25 years ago, but uh, we can do a tremendous uh, uh, increased volume of work uh, with that same staff. So the building design suite, it gives us an edge because of our flexibility, because of our, we're able to just use the best piece of software at the time. Um, that's just a huge benefit to us day to day. Um, the, the, the adoption of BIM has no, no doubt won us new clients, won us repeat work, and it's, for, for me it's the future. If we don't do BIM, we don't exist. <laughs>